to finance your mortgage. Yeah, and, and I don't save the cash flow. I buy gold and silver. But in this environment where you're saying everything is collapsing, what is your outlook for the housing market in the U.S., broadly speaking? My apartment houses. <laughs> I only own apartment houses. I want somebody else to pay my mortgage for me. But if the, I own my house, I, I am the tenant. Right. I don't want to be my own tenant. But in this environment where everything is crashing, is buying real estate now a good time? Well, you got to be smart. So that's why I always say your greatest asset is not this or this. Your greatest asset is between this year and this year. And the reason I come to these shows is because I'm always feeding this thing. I've learned more in one day about global. The founding principle of Rich Debt Poor yes. Debt is to buy real estate, use debt, and have the tenant finance your mortgage. Yeah, and, and I don't save the cash flow. I buy gold and so But in this environment where you're saying everything is collapsing, what is your outlook for the housing market in the U.S., broadly speaking? My apartment houses. <laughs> I only own apartment houses. I want somebody else to pay my mortgage for me. But if the, I own my house, I, I am the tenant. Right. I don't want to be my own tenant. But in this environment where everything is crashing, is buying real estate now a good time? Well, you got to be smart. So that's why I always say your greatest asset is not this or this. Your greatest asset is between this year and this year. And the reason I come to these shows is because I'm always feeding this thing. I've learned more in one day about global. The founding principle. I said, I want you to teach me about money. He says, but if I teach you, you work for me for free. <laughs> and I said, why for free? And my dad, my poor dad went nuts. He says, because if I pay you, you think like an employee. Your brain will change. If you learn never to work for money, you'll be a rich man. The people that are being screwed today are the poor middle class because they work for money. If you read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Rich Dad's lesson number one, the rich don't work for money. Don't you touch that stuff. I said, I want you to teach me about money. He says, but if I teach you, you work for me for free. <laughs> and I said, why for free? And my dad, my poor dad went nuts. He says, because if I pay you, you think like an employee. Your brain will change. If you learn never to work for money, you'll be a rich man. The people that are being screwed today are the poor middle class because they work for money. If you read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Rich Dad's lesson number one, the rich don't work for money. Don't you touch that stuff. I said, I want you to teach me about money. He says, but if I teach you, you work for me for free. <laughs> and I said, why for free? And my dad, my poor dad went nuts. He says, because if I pay you, you think like an employee. Your brain will change. If you learn never to work for money, you'll be a rich man. The people that are being screwed today are the poor middle class because they work for money. If you read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Rich Dad's lesson number one, the rich don't work for money. Don't you touch that stuff. I said, I want you to teach me. The scenes that we've seen in Israel over the past 36 hours are truly horrifying. I want to express my absolute solidarity for the people of Israel. Now is not a time for equivocation, and I'm unequivocal. Hamas and the people who support Hamas are fully responsible for this appalling act of terror, for the murder of civilians and for the kidnapping of innocent people, including children. I've just spoken with Prime Minister Netanyahu to assure him of the UK's steadfast support as Israel defends itself against these appalling attacks. We will do everything that we can to help. Terrorism will not prevail. It's the end of this, or the end of the American empire. The question is, is it China next? I don't trust the Chinese communists. You'll own nothing. Robert, does money make you happy? The game makes me happy. This is toilet paper. We get rich using debt. But what do our schools teach us? Stay out of debt. That's how stupid school teachers are. Why isn't this taught in schools? Because surely people should know this stuff. Because school teachers are Marxists. In America, they're called woke. So they believe that white guys are oppressing the poor and all that stuff. That's not true. It's our schools oppress people. Because we use debt, we don't pay taxes legally. Do you pay any tax? No. Is your beef real with Grant Cardone? I beef with a lot of guys. Why does Dave Ramsey say all debt is dumb? Because Dave Ramsey is a f idiot. That's why I sh me. Robert Kiyosaki is literally the living god 
of real estate. And if you want me to get more guests like this, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. Robert, is the money system rigged? <laughs> you want to get me in trouble, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we're at the end of an empire right now. It is the end. It's the end of this. And um, all empires always come to an end. Mm. The Roman Empire, the Greek Empire, Chinese were the earliest. Chinese were the first guys to use paper. Right. So what we're looking at today is the end of the American Empire. So it's a very dangerous time. It's explosive, you know, with Palestine and uh, Gaza. All the stuff that's going on is an end of times. Not biblical, but just an end of an era. And the trouble when this comes to an end, war follows. That's what I'm afraid of. I went to Vietnam twice. I was a pilot in Vietnam, so I saw war. It's not good, obviously. I, mean, I feel for both Palestinians and the Israelis. And, uh, but we're in dangerous times. So if we're seeing the end of fiat currency as we know it, where do you think money moves to? Good question. <laughs> Uh, this here is a, um, a 1964 half dollar. 1964 was the year that uh, this was real silver. Mm. But in 1964, the U.S. was now the you know from England, the torch was passed to America. That was 1944, Bretton Woods and all this, and so America was the power. But every empire ends when they debased the currency. So this was 64, I was 17 years old. I remember looking, oh, it's nice, you know. And then one day, it's, I also looked up and some of the coins looked like this. And that is? This is pure gold. Yeah, one of okay. them. But I look it up and I go, oh my God, why does this coin have copper on it? And that was the end of the empire. Every empire dies when they violate this when they change the money. So I'm congratulations on all your success about being a real estate guy because this was 64, then 71, President Nixon took the dollar off of the gold standard. And the reason you're doing so well today is because the dollar became debt, right? Mm. So real estate guys like my friend Trump and all that, we get rich using debt. Whereas the average person is told to work hard, this is toilet paper, save this, stay out of debt, and they're going broke today. I really, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid for the average punter out there, you know. So we're in serious trouble because by the end of the American Empire, is China going to take over? I don't know. Ray Dalio thinks so. Well. Dalio also recommends other, you know. But anyway, I, was, I just want to commend you. I want to say, the reason I'm here is because of this here. You know, you were... Yeah, I was at the World Cup semi-final. <laughs> I just want to, because I'm in England, London, rugby is my game. And uh, it's the greatest game in the world to me. It's a pure entrepreneur's game. And the reason it's pure, because it, it's not how big you are. You have really big second row. Mm. You have big fat guys like me, props. You know, how's a prop? You have little guys who are hookers and the scrum halves mm. and all this. But it's a pure entrepreneur sport because every person on a rugby team has to do everything. You have to run, pass, kick, right? Mm. Whereas in American baseball, you hit the, you know, everybody's like, and uh, in golf, it's an individual sport. But rugby is a pure team sport. So I, I came out to London here. I played for Blackheath for about four games. I was, I love the game. It's passionate. Mm. And that's, I was, I was here, I was at Twickenham for the World Cup out here. Mm -hmm. But it's the greatest game on earth as far as I'm concerned. Mm. Thanks and to England, passing it on to the world. <laughs> you actually talk a lot about your rich dad advisors. Right. So do you, is there such a thing as self-made or must it be no. a, a team? That's a perfect question. Okay, look. Let me show you something here. So this was 1964. That used to be real silver. Now it's fake silver. 
So then, 1971, this was backed by gold and silver. And then Nixon took it off. This became debt. That's one of the most important things because now it became debt. For me to get rich, I had to use debt. But what do our schools teach us? Stay out of debt. That's how stupid school teachers are. Debt makes guys like you and me rich. And ironically, because we use debt, we don't pay any taxes. You know, your taxes are very high here in London, very high in America. But real estate guys like Trump and I, we don't pay taxes legally. Now that makes a lot of the liberal or the conservatives or the whatever you call them, the greenies and the academic types, angry. Because when Trump was was debating Hillary Clinton, that criminal, and the, the Clintons and the Obamas, man, what a bunch of crooks they are. Really? But all politicians are crooks anyway. Anyway, I'm not getting political here. But Hillary Clinton, she was running against Trump. And she says, and you don't even pay taxes. And what does Trump say to her? It means I'm smart. And so the reason I like what you're doing with real estate is you learn to use debt mm. and you pay less taxes to go for this. But what I'm glad I'm doing your program is once I realized this and this was all changing, the end game wasn't real estate. The end game was gold. So today, this is a U.S. silver buffalo. You can buy this for $30 U.S. It's, I, don't know, I don't know it in pounds. This is 2200 Okay. So which would you rather have today? Would you rather have this piece of toilet paper? Would you rather have this piece of silver? Or would you rather have gold? The average person wants the paper. This is toilet paper. And that's why people are in trouble today because we're about, America is about to crash, as you know. We're in serious trouble. Our debt is at an all time high. America is now the biggest debtor nation in the world. Wow. <coughs> Worse than Japan. See, the, so Japan has high debt, but the Japanese people are rich because they save. Americans are in debt, the country is in debt, and we have this guy Biden putting us more in debt. The first thing that Biden did when he came to office, I'm an oil guy, I went to school for oil. I drove tankers with Standard Oil. First thing that ba uh, Biden did was he took, he cut the Keystone Pipeline, the, the pipeline ran from Canada all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. When he cut that pipeline, that was Biden did. Trump had, Trump loved it. But when Biden cut it, I, was, I still sell oil. I'm an oil guy. So I have real estate, oil, all this other stuff. I was selling oil for $30 a barrel when Trump was in office. When Biden came to office, oil went to 130 a barrel. That sent inflation through the roof. It wiped out mom and dad. Today, the spooky thing about the world economy is the gap between rich and poor getting wider because people are working for this and not this and this here. So the question I ask people, which, which is a better investment? Gold, silver, or paper? Well, I think since 71, fiat currency, certainly the pound is down more than 85% of its value, whereas gold's up thousands of percent in the same time. Yeah. So I know... Well, let me just ask it straight. Why isn't this taught in schools? Because surely people should know this stuff. Because school teachers are Marxist. My poor dad, rich dad, poor dad, it's a story of a Marxist versus a capitalist. You know, my poor dad was an academic type. He was a PhD, which shows his dads were poor, helpless, and desperate. <laughs> he was a smart guy. He was in school all the time. He knew all the answers to everything. Mm. But he didn't know anything about this here. Mm. And my rich dad was a man who had no school, and he ran the family store. So as a boy of 13, he began learning about money. And he, he started saying, he says, he says, the mistake is our schools teach us to work for this, not this. Mm. Why does Dave Ramsey say all debt is dumb? Well, because Dave Ramsey is a f idiot, that's why he shit me. No, I mean, part of my French. I mean, he and I, uh, his, it's the, who's your target? Yeah, you know, when we first got together, I said, who's your demographics, right? 
You guys are real estate guys. Dave Ramsey is not your teacher. You're their teacher. Does that make sense? Mm. So like I went, I'm a pilot. I didn't ask a basketball player to teach me how to play, to, to fly. So when I went to Vietnam, I wanted the best teachers. So if you're going to be in real estate, Dave Ramsey is not your teacher. You are. If you understand that, you choose your teachers. So Ramsey's advice is good for the average person who is trying to save this stuff here. Think about this, okay? I was flying in Vietnam. I bought my first gold coin. I paid $50 for it. So it was 50 of these for one of these. Today is 2,200 for one of these. And was the dollars gone down by? And mom and daddy are working hard, staying out of debt like freaking idiots. Yeah. But it's best advice for mom and dad. They're the punter. You know, I, I use the term punter. They just they have no idea what's going on. They get up, they get up, they get a pint, and they're happy. Mm. So, but if you're going to be a rich man or a poor man, a rich man, your end game is gold. This has been money for centuries. This is silver. It's the better investment today. In the U.S., it takes 35 of these to buy one of these. So I tell my brothers and my sisters and all that, hey, trade this piece of toilet paper in for this. Oh, no. Dave Ramsey said save money. <laughs> <laughs> and my family's broke. But they follow my poor dad. They go, I have a master's degree. What do you have? And a master's degree can get someone 100000 in debt, can't it? Bad debt. I'm a billion dollars in debt. You're a billion in debt. Because debt is money. It happened in 1971. President Nixon took this, separated them. So what became money was a U.S. bond. Now, Dave Ramsey and most of these financial planners down in the city of London and the... Uh, they recommend buying bonds. Bonds are the worst advice possible. Why? They're going crashing. Three banks went down the road because the bonds crashed. So please hear what I'm saying is our financial planners, what we call them in the States, they're always saying you, you want 40% 40, 40 stocks, 40% bonds, and 10% gold or something like that. They think bonds are safe. But now that interest rates are going like this, when interest rates goes up, the bonds come down. So today, the U.S. Federal Reserve President, uh, Chairman Powell, he's raising interest rates. Bonds are coming down. Our banks are crashing. When our banks crash, they can't lend this out.